concentrated about speaking shaba ba 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 your prayer is just saying thank you Jesus can be your weapon in the life to carry you at all I said tell somebody that your praise is your weapon so can we do this this is how I we we this is how I we This is how I receive I spoke of my words of
you are you know yourself that you are a very timid person. Like when you do the things of God, you want to work with God. Timid. Anytime it comes into your spirit, anytime it comes into your mind, because of how shy you are, how timid you are, you are not able to do it. I want you to run to me, run to me. You can identify with me because that's the same kind of person that I was. I can't, I couldn't stand before people. I can't even meet somebody and say hello. I can't even dare to want to say that Jesus loves you. But God can take a person, break that person, and put a spirit of a line on that person and send him forth and say that go do my work. Run to me and I'll say a simple prayer for you. And I believe that that will be the turning point of your ministry. Oh, if you are standing before him, I'm going to go Bless you, Jesus, my name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, God. Bless you. Hey, now if you go to YouTube, 
and some people are doing music. What shows that I will stand out? What shows that I will do something new? Who will listen to me? Hey, I make quiet, now I These are some of the excuses that come. And if you make those excuses a reason, you will not be able to aspire. You will not be able to do mighty things for God. And so the devil is in the business of sowing in you excuses, excuses upon excuses that will stop you from doing whatever you want to do. And so this scripture is telling us that yes, there might be a lion in the way, but if you know that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world, you will know that though the lion will come against you, David said, well, the God who delivered me, I am here to tell you, the God who saw you through form one, the God who saw you through form two, the God who saw you through form three is capable of seeing you through. Most of you were day student, you were on the vehicle, commuting from whatever on a daily basis. The devil had plans for you. But you didn't give up. You didn't give excuses because you knew what you were looking for. In the same way as you go out there, pursue what you need with diligence. Pay the midnight can as you go home. Don't say that I don't have money for data. Some of you have money for data to do every other thing but to do some things that will benefit you. If you go on Instagram, you go on YouTube, there is so much you can learn. When you go home, don't say that my parents don't have money. Look for something to do. Learn a trade. Do some business. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't wait for manna from heaven to fall for you. Get your hands dirty in the right way. I've sold so for long before. And I didn't even sell it when I was in high school. I sold it when I was studying with university. I had it in my bag. I will knock on your door and I'll sell it to you. If you can get your hands dirty the right way, you can get that small income that you need to start the business. Because you see, there are a lot of shortcuts around. And if you allow the shortcuts to lead you, the Bible says what? There's a way that cement right into a man. But the end is distraction. And so if you are here, don't allow the devil to give you excuses to be lazy. Hallelujah. Be diligent. Be committed. Because those who are diligent and little will be given what? More. Hallelujah. Another thing you need to understand in order to stay as an outstanding Christian is to stay focused. You need to stay focused. My mom always says this. She says that if you don't have a sense of direction, every bus will take you to your destination. You need to know where you are going. Have dreams. Dream big. In fact, don't allow anything to stop you from dreaming big. Because even the God who created us, he says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor any mind can see. What he has in store for you. So the God who created you is even dreaming big for you. And so if God is dreaming big for you, you need to aspire to have big dreams. Dream what? Big. And mind you, know who you share your dreams with. Joseph shared his dream with his own brothers and then he ended up as a slave. Being sold out and he ended up in prison. I will advise you that if you conceive an idea, before you share it, ask yourself, what is this person going to contribute to this idea that I'm sharing? The person is going to discourage you, forget about it. If the person is going to pray for you, thumbs up. If the person is going to encourage you, thumbs up. Not everyone needs to hear your aspiration, and not everyone wishes you well. And so when you dream big, commit it into the hands of God. And little by little, the God that I said will come through for you.